Have you ever wondered how to make acrylic skin jewelry in four easy steps? Watch this video and I'll show you how. I reuse different plastic containers to mix my paint. These are yogurt containers. You'll also need something to stir with like these inexpensive wood sticks. I wash mine and reuse them as well. Any acrylic paint will do. Here I'm using Liquitex Basics. Everyone has their own mix ratio they like to use. I mix two parts paint to one part flow trawl by flood. Make sure you're getting the latex flow trawl. I like my paint to have the consistency of runny honey. You'll want something to measure your flow trawl and your paint in. I have little cups that are medicine cups that I've gotten at the local pharmacy. I mix two parts flow trawl to one part paint. It's very hard to see the clear piece of 8x10 acetate that I'm pouring on here. You can pour on photo paper or plastic sheet protectors you use for documents. I alternate my three colors, then pour the black at the end. You can use a variety of things to spread your paint. I would experiment with different items like an old rewards card, a piece of computer photo paper, or like I have here, a cut piece of acetate. Slowly and gently pull across the paint. Don't be alarmed, the black will start to separate and create cells or lacing, and you'll see the colors beneath. I use a handheld torch that helps create the cells as well. You can tilt and move your surface to stretch and expand your paint. Now that I have several different sheets poured and have let them dry thoroughly for 24 hours, I'm ready to glue on the cabochons, which are these glass domes. Now you want to clean both sides from any fingerprints or small dust particles. I use a sprayer of alcohol and a good quality paper towel. Being sure not to get any fingerprints on your cabochons, I find an area that's interesting and lay it down there to see how it looks. Move it all around to find some real interesting areas. Once you've done a few, you'll get to know what your favorite types of designs are. Next, I take Mod Podge Dimensional Magic Glue to glue it down to the acrylic. Pour a small amount, maybe the circumference of a pea, on the back. Place it on the area you choose. It's going to kind of float for a bit. Press down on it. Press any of the bubbles out. Hold it in place for about 20 seconds until the glue has caught hold of it. Be careful not to get any on the top of the cabochon. If you do, take a piece of paper towel with alcohol in it and wipe it clean immediately. The cabochons magnify the designs beautifully. Let these dry for at least 24 hours. Your next step is to cut the cabochons out. This is extremely simple. Unfortunately, I filmed it in slow motion. When I sped it up to top speed, it got a bit jerky. Basically, just take a pair of scissors and cut around them closely. Angle the scissors away from the cabochons for a close cut. Make sure you've, if you've placed the cabochons in the middle of the acrylic, cut strategically. Don't cut through a beautiful area because you'll want to save these acrylic skins for later use. Here are what they look like cut out. Once they are off the acrylic sheets, their individual beauty starts to really shine. For these, I use mostly neon colors and some metallics. The black lacing turned out wonderful. I think this batch will be named Dragon Scales or maybe Butterfly Wings. Sometimes you'll see representational things in the designs. In the upper green area, you'll see a tree silhouetted on a green sky. What kind of things do you see in these? Now, of course, you're gonna wanna make some jewelry. Let's get going. We need to place them in settings or trays. Here again, you'll want to decide which direction they'll go. I use E6000 glue with a toothpick. 
Only use a small amount. You don't want any seeping out onto the setting. Hold for a few seconds to set. Again, if you get any glue on your glass cabochon, clean it with alcohol immediately. Make sure you keep the glue off of your hands as well. Here, I've gotten some glue on the cabochon. I also got it on my fingers and the tray. So I'm cleaning it off with the paper towel and the alcohol. Now all you need to do is add the jump ring and necklace cord to the setting for a finished product. 